guys, Mars Hengen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we're going to talk about a very big, very important event that is coming to Global on Monday morning or late Sunday evening depending on where you are in the US um, or maybe even later on Monday if you're further ahead in time than I am in the UK but that is of course Dokkan is finally getting, or I should say Dokkan Global is finally getting the All Stars Extreme Z Battle. So this came out on JP a while ago. You can see the release date actually here on the wiki, the 9th of March, uh, coming to Global now. And to be perfectly honest, with uh, you know Raditz celebration, not exactly the most hype thing. Global uh, players pretty much anticipating to skip Raditz. Obviously, the Turles EZA is coming out at the same time. That is something we have all been looking forward to. But this is an event that you guys definitely should have been looking forward to coming right before the worldwide celebration because one of the issues that global always has is we have the anniversary that's one of the big things that people save their stones for every year and then literally the anniversary ends and like a month or later we're going into the worldwide download celebration which is basically the second biggest event of the year and uh, you know for global especially the dual dokon fest lrs that release as the headline units which obviously seemingly are going to be a cooler and uh, Goku of some varieties. Um, those units are going to be really good and they're not going to return on Global until the next anniversary banners. So like 11 months away. And as we saw this year with uh, Namek Goku and Full Power Freezer, after the anniversary event like Power Creep, those units come back for the first time for people who haven't got them you know, from their first banner and they've already become slightly like outdated. So for global players, it's almost more of a priority to get the download celebration LRs than it is the anniversary LRs because after the download celebration, which pretty much takes up the whole of September, the anniversary LRs will return on a banner and be available with coins by the end of December. So whereas these guys, we're going to have to wait 11 months. So the great thing about this event coming right now before the worldwide celebration is you get a ton of stones out of this event. This is probably the main reason why you've heard people talking about this event already is because of the sheer amount of rewards that you get from doing it all. So, of course, if you didn't know, as it says there, the All-Star Battle is 999 stages. So it functions like a normal EZA for all intents and purposes, except that, yeah, it has 999 stages. And, you know, there are some easy, easy EZAs out there, but, like, the first few stages are going to be very, very easy, but... Yeah, there's just loads of them, and obviously it starts to get harder as you get closer to the end. But as you can see here from the full list of rewards, you get 277 Dragon Stones. So from now, the day of recording, this is the 13th, uh, the download celebration usually starts on like the 29th, right? So we've got just over two weeks to go until then. Just from login bonus like stones alone, you add that onto this. This is 300 stones before the... Uh, worldwide celebration banners are going to drop the worldwide celebration banners have the three plus one rotation mechanic for the summons so 150 stones gets you three moles and a free one so getting 300 stones pretty much just from this event is going to enable you to do two three plus one cycles on the worldwide download celebration banners whether you want to split them you know one for each or just two on the one you're that you're the most hyped about like what better reason to do all of these stages there's lots of them but as i just said you know you got two weeks until the uh download celebration comes out um, you can start working on it even if you can't finish the whole thing the fact that you can get so many stones out of this before the next big banners come out is obviously really really good you also get 27 of each of the type kai's so regardless of what typing the download celebration units are if they don't have farmable super attacks you're going to have all these kai's ready to go you also get three of the general ones that can go into anyone but obviously better to use the type specific ones first then you get a bunch of zeni and you also get a ton of orbs so like if you some somehow got that you know insanely lucky you could rainbow the two new units pretty much with all the orbs that you get just out of this and of course global we've just had you know closing out now last few days but we've had the uh, every single orb stage available every day so for me personally the number of orbs that i have for every type has gone up tremendously so getting a whole extra bunch out of this is really good as well so what's the catch well yep yeah, apart from the fact that it's 999 stages 
Um, easy A's, of course, always have a specific team that you have to use. But as you can see from the weakness tab here, it says various. And there are a whole bunch of tabs here that are all named after categories. And as you can see, we're on Dragon Ball Saga. You scroll all the way down. The first, I think, it's, is it 108? Yeah, 108 stages are Dragon Ball Saga. And the enemies are representative of that as well. So you can see it says here, characters from various categories take less damage, mitigate the enemy's damage reduction and cause increased damage, which is the general like easy A rule for the specific categories. Each different tab represents the various categories. So it looks like you do fight those enemies specific to those categories, but these are the categories that offer the special bonus. So you've got Dragon Ball Saga, World Tournament. Now, it's really good that those two are very early on because those categories, even if you're someone who has every unit in the game, those categories are not great anymore. So it's good that those are the easiest stages for sure. Then we have Pure Saiyans, which, I mean, is one of the widest rosters in the game, so not hard to make a team for that. Planet Namek Saga, Heavenly Events, Android Slash Cell Saga, Other World Warriors, Margin Buu Saga, GT Bosses is a bit of a wonky one, I guess, without, you know, all the Shadow Dragon buffs from the anniversary. GT Heroes, Shadow Dragon Saga, Goku Family, Realm of Gods, Movie Bosses and Heroes, Universe 6, Defenders of Justice, Future Saga, Terrifying Conquerors and Universe Survival Saga. Now, that's a lot of different categories. And if you are newer to the game or you're somebody who is free to play, there might be a couple of these that you're noticing that you really can't make very strong teams for. And um, normally for ECAs, I do very in-depth team building guides, but, you know, there's so much to go over here. One of the things that I can say from experience and from speaking to JP players as well, on my JP account, which is my side account, so I don't have dupes in a lot of units. There's a lot of units I just straight up don't have. Um, I beat the first 200 stages of this. Which if we uh, have a look, where does 200 go up to? Is it Pure Saiyans? No, we've already moved into Planet Namek Saga. So I'm already deep into the Planet Namek Saga section of this on my JP account. And I just used a GT Heroes team. I didn't even have my own anniversary LR Super Saiyan 4s. So I was just using GT Goku as the leader and a friend LR Super Saiyan 4s. And like I say, a lot of my units on JP don't have dupes, they're not link leveled, and I managed to get all the way through to stage 200. It's only because I haven't really bothered to play the JP account recently that I haven't done any more. Because unfortunately, like a normal easy A, it is a bit of a tedious thing to do, especially when the early stages are so easy. You're just going through the early stages, stage after stage after stage, and it's not particularly difficult, so you don't have to like engage your brain all that much you just have to put the right units in the right slot and pick up the orbs and you don't really need to think much more about it than that for the first few stages so don't worry too much if you can't make some of these categories in the earlier stages um gt bosses like i said we did at least get the benefit of having all the shadow dragons upgrades like i did for the vegeta event mission you can just run a full shadow dragons team but again any one of these categories that you can't make a full team just see what you can make with your box Bring your most powerful team, if you can bring a few units from that specific category on that team. Like say for example you have AGL Cell and you have a really good Androids team. You can bring units like Super 17 who is on GT bosses on that team. He's obviously going to be one of the better units for those stages. But if the rest of your team is powerful enough, you can make it through a lot of these. Some of it will require RNG, obviously just like with a typical Easy A. If you're bringing in units that are not on the specific category and then they're like eating a super attack, they will take a lot of damage. But with good RNG, you know, things like dodging units with damage reduction, you can get through without having all of the categories you need. So GT bosses could be a bit of an issue. Um, Shadow Dragon Saga is quite small, but obviously if you've got the anniversary LRs and the, you know, standalone LR Super Saiyan 4s, then it shouldn't be too difficult. Goku's Family is a giant category. I feel like Defenders of Justice could be a bit of a weird one. A lot of the Heroes units are on there though, and if you did summon for Videl and you did actually get her, then obviously, you know, her team is pretty decent. There's a lot of really strong Peppy Gals units you could put on her team under her lead, and even though they're not getting the Defenders of Justice, like, category buff, they could still be very good as well. Um, so that one shouldn't be too bad. There are some good free-to-play units as well, because obviously all the Saiyan men characters are in Defenders of Justice. But fortunately, the last couple are, I guess, Universe 6 is a bit small. There are some good free-to-play versions of the Universe 6 Saiyans, though, as well. Um, the only one near the end, I guess, that is on the smaller side 
is the Universe 6 one, Defenders of Justice. Um, Universe Survival Saga is an interesting one. Obviously, if you've been playing the game since the last anniversary, and you have a bunch of the 6th anniversary stuff, then this one shouldn't be too difficult, and there are some good free-to-play options for that as well. So, like I say, I'm not going to do a full in-depth team building guide. These earlier categories, you can probably just blast through with your most powerful team, especially if you're somebody that did pull, like, both of the anniversary LRs and can build very strong teams for them. And always remember, as you go through the enemies, um, you know, the cheat code units. Like, if you ever come up against pure Saiyan or Universe Survival Saga enemies, which, you know, you will be in the final stage. Universe 6, some of these guys are. I don't know if Champa is, but some of these guys are as well. So you can use those units like Tech Khalifla that gets guaranteed dodge. Um, God Goku against pure Saiyans or movie bosses enemies. Um, so even though they're not necessarily on the right category, if you're fighting a pure Saiyan or a movie boss enemy, God Goku, even without a leader skill, is not going to be taking huge amounts of damage. So there are a few uh, like cheat code units that can get around specific enemies. But all in all, it's just going to be a case of bring the best team you can for that category if you can build a team for that category. Otherwise, just go in full force with your most powerful team. Try and lean a bit more towards having, obviously, type advantage over the enemy you're going to be fighting since your unit's not in the right category you're going to be taking a lot of extra damage anyway. But with good RNG, you will be able to brute force through a lot of this. And even if you can't complete the entire thing, um, you get a ton of rewards. Like, if we go to Future Saga, this is stage almost 800 up to uh, 836. And as you can see, the rewards are staggered along the way. So you get some stones, not from every single one. There's already a bunch of Kai's in here. There's orbs on, like, every step. And, of course, all of the previous, like, pages are like this as well. So you are earning a bunch of these rewards as you actually get through. So do your best to get through as much as you can in the two weeks. Get some extra resources ready for the Worldwide Download Celebration. And let me know what you guys think of this event coming up. For anyone curious as well, I think JP players were saying... Um, to those that kept track of the time, even though they didn't necessarily do it all in one go, it can take around 18 hours or more to actually get through the entire thing. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you get on. Um, are you hyped for the Worldwide Download Celebration? Are you going to farm this out completely? I have actually seen some people in the comments of the previous video talking about the confirmed release of this, that some people are planning on saving it as, like, emergency stones. So if an event is coming up um, and you don't have a lot of stones, you could then finally go and do this and you are getting like we said at the beginning close to 300 stones but obviously for people who are a bit tapped out from the anniversary this is the perfect way to restock before the worldwide download celebration comes out so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one